Good morning, students. Today I'm going to walk you through the Early Man Instagram project just in case you're having trouble figuring out what it is that you're supposed to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at a sample project. All right, so here on my screen I have my copy of the Early Man Instagram, and then I also have a Google image search that I've done um, that shows different images that fit for the hunter-gatherer lifestyle. Um, so at this point in 3D Game Lab, you've probably done different quests that have helped you understand the lifestyle of early man and hunter-gatherers. So some good search terms might be hunter-gatherer, early man, or hominid. Um, we're going to go over here to the Instagram project and make a copy for ourselves that will be editable. And then once you have your copy, you're free to go ahead and make changes. Um, the Early Man Instagram project is supposed to be if Early Man somehow miraculously had social media and Wi-Fi, um, what is it exactly that he or she or they would want to share about themselves with the world? So I'm going to go ahead and build using this um, zoom in function on Google Slides. Uh, at the top of the page, there's a space for a user profile picture. So I need to decide who is my early man character and how can I represent him or her in that particular um, profile picture. So maybe I'll type hominid and see what I come up with there. Um, different hominid type creatures. You know what, this one works for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click view image so I get the best resolution of that image. It's not blurry at all. And then I'm going to drag this over to my project. Now notice that it's coming up pretty huge. You can actually resize using the tools on the sides. And then I'm going to situate this right inside this box. Now, something that I'm noticing is that the image is a little wider than the box is. So I can actually adjust that by double clicking in the middle of the image and then resizing these black bars so that they fit right inside of the space that's given. And then when I click back outside of the image, it's cropped the image so that it fits better. Um, so that's a pro tip for you. This should be a username, so my username is going to be at Hunter Gatherer Boss. <laughs> I'm going to say that he's a great hunter gatherer, and that would be a great Instagram name for him. I'm going to layer in some text boxes to show how many posts he has. Maybe he has 342 posts, and I can bold that and then center it. That's looking pretty good. Um, and then I'm just going to copy and paste that box so I can come up with some followers. Um, I'm not sure that that many people would have social media back in the day. So in my pretend world, I'm going to say that he has 25 followers um, because there aren't very many of them. And then I'm going to say that in terms of who he's following, maybe he's following 32 people. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Now, the biography statement is really your opportunity to show what you have learned about early man and his lifestyle. So I'm going to go ahead and type here and adjust the font size as I need to. So I'm going to put it down to, to size 10 and see what I can get started with. Um, so let's see. Hi, my name is hunter, gatherer, boss, and I am a species of early man called a hominid. This means that I can walk on two legs. I also migrate frequently do not have a permanent home and must hunt or gather 
for food. I live in a small group of about 30 people and we cooperate to survive. All right. Um, I'm seeing here that it's not really fitting that great. So I'm going to zoom out, resize my text box. Yeah, that's good. Um, I'm also going to say instead of my name, I'm going to say my username is Hunter Gatherer Boss. All right, that looks good. I like it. All right, I'm going to zoom back in so you can see what is needed. Um, I found some great images to use in my project. And this first image shows early man around a fire. And from your 3D Game Lab quest, you should know that early man discovered fire, not at first, it kind of came after the development of stone tools. Um, and fire did a lot of great things for early man. For example, they could use it to hunt animals, they could use it for protection at night and safety, um, they could use it for warmth and for cooking food. So it has a lot of practical reasons that it's useful for early man. So I decided to Instagram early man here using fire, and then the caption was, I was so relieved when my hominid family and I invented fire. We are so much warmer and we enjoy cooking food. Hashtag early man success. So for every image that you select, it should reflect your learning about early man. And then you need to have a meaningful caption. That's a complete sentence with capitals and periods and at least one early man style hashtag that you have developed. A few of these pictures also have this blue box underneath it. And in this blue box, that's a space for a comment from another early man user. So I'm gonna set my font to size 10 and I'm gonna say that this was, let's see, migrating lady. And maybe she said, Hey, my family just invented fire too. We use fire to help us hunt large animals. Let's share fire secrets sometime. Hashtag cooperation. All right, um, that seems like it needs to be a little bit smaller so it'll fit, perfect. And I'm going to turn the hashtag blue so I can pretend it's like a link. Oh, that looks great. Um, and then this username, I think I'm going to bold so it's obvious that that's the person who's commenting. So the white areas are for, um, are for captions. And if you look at this, this is just a, a square that I added. So I added the square to right inside. And then I added the image up on the regular post. And then I added text boxes to leave the comment from another user. I'm making up the hashtags as I go. And by the time I'm done, this is going to look like a pretend early man Instagram account. So hopefully this has been helpful to you to um, be able to get started on your early man quest. Remember that you need to click the share button and not only share it with me, but you're also going to want to get the shareable link, copy it, and then that's what you paste when you go to turn in your quest in 3D Game Lab. So happy creating. I hope you have fun and uh, I'll see you in class.